So we're going to be talking about how to import custom post type CPT. Uh, we're going to be using Jet Engine and WP All Import plugin. Now, Jet Engine is not a free plugin. Uh, you probably know that if you're watching this video. And the WP All Import, uh, there's a free version. But unfortunately, the free version didn't work for me. So for this demo, I'm using paid version. Now, um, the first, I would like to talk about how to export a skin and then import a skin. And then the third item is export JNG CPT data to CSP file. And then the last part is import the CSP file to JNG CPT. Hi, my name is Osamu Wakabashi from Zen Ideas. So let's get started. So the left side has already a custom post type, so like speakers, events, and also I have custom content types, which is called publication. So I will move that. So on the right hand side website is just brand new. I installed all the plugins, but um, there's no content in it. So let's go to Jet Engine and I go to Scheme Manager. So what I like to do is moving from left to right. So I want to export Scheme. So it tells me uh, which components uh, I want to export. So let's try everything. I have to use a profile too. Uh, even relations, okay, even glossaries. Uh, query, yeah, I want to just uh, check this event one. And then listing items as well. So I'm going to try everything here. Uh, event publication. So let's uh, hit export and then download it to this right here skin so JSON file on my desktop okay now let's go to on the right hand side so I want to import that CPT and CZT and all the other stuff so go to jet engine and get rid of that and skin manager and now import scheme, right? So select the file, which is on my desktop, and this one, and upload, and then hit import. Okay, so it looks like it's born, it's very quick. Okay, so let's refresh, I just hit dashboard here. All right, so it looks like uh, I have it here, and then let's see, uh, post type. Okay, I have it. And then uh, CCT, I have that too. And the relations. Okay. Oh yeah, so that uh, glossary, so let's see. Okay, I got that. Okay, good. Now what about the content though, uh, event content? Okay, so I don't have the content actually, because events, so they have here one of the speakers, like right here, and I don't think actually content has got, okay, it's just, uh, so the content doesn't get it exported and imported. So the next one is, I like to export this content and import to the new website. All right, I think new plugin it's called wp export i think this one uh wp all imports are all exports so i need to install that okay activate so now i have wp all export plugin and it's it is activated and then so now you see all export here so i'm gonna add oh sorry i'm gonna uh, create a new export and then specific post type right and then so I will find um, right here events okay so I'm gonna uh, customize uh, this export file okay so ID number and title and content so uh, uh, let's see so I don't need any other uh, thing here but i do need a custom field which has i need a location that need to be imported and then event date 
and then time. Uh, I don't know this organizer uh, 09039. Um, I don't need that. So I'm going to just take a look. So I'm going to just uh, put this and hit the preview. Uh, it's all blank though. Oh, it says organizer name. So there is August organizer name. I don't know why there are two here. So what about this one? And they hit the preview here. So, okay, so I'm not sure what happened here. I don't know why there's two meta field. Yeah, so I'm gonna just uh, delete this part. I'm not sure, it doesn't look right. So I'm gonna just stretch this out here. Okay, so ID number, uh, title, content, location, date, time, and the organizer. So that's what I need. And then, so I hit continue. And then confirm and then run export. Okay, so I'm just uh, download a CSV file. Okay, so that's done. All right, so it should be under desktop. So this one, so event export 2022, October 28th. So this is a CSV file uh, exported, okay? Now let's go to um, this new website. So we're gonna now import uh, this CSV file. Now, in order to import, um, you need a premium version. So I'll, let me explain here. So, so because we got the events here, so as you see, I need uh, import of title and then here description and then I made a custom meta field, right? So location, date, time, and organizer's name. So for the free version, you can just uh, import only title and description. But if you want to import custom field, you have to have a premium version of WP all import. Now I can explain to you. Um, so let's go to this website. So this is the new website. I would like to import content. So I'm gonna go to uh, plugin. So let's add a new and then search WP all import. So I'll show you. So this is the uh, free version. So I'm gonna hit the install and activate. All right, so I have right here, all import. So I got all import here. So let's um, create a new import. So I'm gonna create, so import this. Okay, so that, um, so new item, it's going to be events. Okay, so I'll move on to continue step three. All right, so here I can drag and drop title and description. But now, right here, it's called a custom field. So in order for me to import those meta field, I need to have a pro version. So for this tutorial, so I'm gonna be using a pro version. Okay, so I'm gonna install the pro because I have the license. So uh, let's go back to uh, plugin and add a new. So I need to deactivate the free version and activate the pro version here. Okay. All right, now let's do it again. So all import and then new import. So upload file, uh, which is this CSV file. And then, so that's going to be events. And then move on to step two. Okay, so that's fine. And then continue to step three. And here, drag and drop any element on the right. So uh, title, I'm just drag and drop here. And then descriptions, that's a content, just drag and drop here. And then I don't have image, uh, now custom field. So right here, 
So I have location, right? And then add a custom field and also date. Time. Organizer, right? So location, date, time, organizer. And I'm going to on the value column here. I'm going to just grab this and drop. Grab this, drop. Oh. All right. And the adder events option. So, um, yeah, you can set the post status, publish, and then post date. Uh, you can actually create a random date, but I can, I'm okay, just now is okay. All right, so you can just uh, pick other choices too. And so let's move on to uh, step four. Okay, so that's unique ID. So I can just hit the auto detect. So that's okay. Continue. And then confirm and run import. Okay, so it looks like it's done. So let's open up uh, events. So now it looks like it's all imported. So let's look into uh, inside. Edit. Okay, so that's the title and the content here. And then location, uh, date, time, and then organizes the name right here. So it's, it's working. So let's uh, open up old one, uh, this old one, so let me just check. So this is all the website and the events, um, click edit. Okay, so I'm gonna just put a side by side here. All right, so yeah, so that's the title and the content and all the custom meta field um, is imported correctly. So that's fine. It is easy to import a custom post type from one website to the other. Um, unfortunate part is uh, it's not free. Uh, so you have to buy um, this WP all import a premium version. So let's just see the price here. All right, so what you need is um, this 249, what's this standalone here? Okay, so import standalone is $99. Okay, so that's not too, too bad. Yeah, that's all you need actually. What's the package? Okay, so you got all the, the other stuff here. And then uh, I think you need um, this $99 uh, standalone. So yes, unfortunately, uh, it's not free, but um, if you know, um, how to import or export import as uh, custom post type kind of free um, just let me know um, you know put that in a comment below and then we can share with others so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time